So now let's talk about accountability. Accountability will be vital in you all cementing your foundation to which the rest of the house will eventually be built as we get back to work. And it's so important that if your team doesn't already know this, that you make it crystal clear that holding someone accountable is something you do for them. It's not something you do to them. I want you and everyone on your team to understand that accountability is the best gift you can give someone. When you hold someone accountable, you basically are telling them, I care about you. I care about your performance and I care about us collectively as a team and I'm not gonna let you slide doing anything less than your best. So when you hold someone accountable, you hold someone to the very high standards you've set. It's an, it's an expression of love. It's an expression that you care about them. But what we have to realize is when we hold people accountable, it's in our, it's in our DNA as human beings, we are wired to default to that trilogy of selfishness I mentioned earlier. Most people, when you hold them accountable for most things, they blame, they complain, and they make excuses. So our job as leaders, when we hold our teams and we hold ourselves to the highest level of accountability, is we're not necessarily gonna get rid of that trilogy, but we need to make sure that we can help them work through that at a much quicker pace. When you hold someone accountable, like I did my son Luke after cleaning the table, we were able to work through his defensiveness in a matter of minutes, instead of a matter of hours or a matter of days. So your team needs to know that the reason you hold them to those high standards is because you care about them. The next part of accountability that's going to be vital is that you don't just have vertical accountability. That's a trait of very mediocre organizations and franchises, which is those at the top tell those at the bottom exactly what to do and it trickles down. That can't be the only form of accountability for you all to be as successful as you can. You also have to create horizontal accountability. And horizontal accountability means everyone holds everyone else accountable to the standards you've created. Teammates hold each other accountable. Folks in one department hold folks in the other department accountable. Now this is not meaning that they try to do the other person's job. This just means that in your organizations, you should have created some standards, the codes at which you live by in order to achieve at a high level and perform at a high level. And those are non-negotiables. And anytime someone steps out of bounds and doesn't rise to the occasion and meet those standards, regardless of where you fall on the org chart, you not only have the right but you have the obligation to hold that person accountable. And then the key to effective accountability is making sure that you do so in a way that limits the opportunity for them to be defensive and to complain and to blame and make excuses. You, you approach them in a way that will resonate most effectively with them so that their performance will go up.